KXAN's Reagan Hackleman is joining us now live from Auditorium Shores with more on what the rest of the summer could look like and what Austin Energy is doing to make sure people stay cool. Well, hey, Jim, if you take a look behind me, you'll see we're here at Auditorium Shores. However, there's hardly anyone out here, and that's simply because it is too hot out here. This is a thermometer from inside of our live truck. It's probably a cheap little thermometer. It says it's about 105, which might be a little high right now, but this time next week, this is probably going to be an actual temperature out here. If you think it's hot now, just wait until next week. We are uh, now approaching late July and about to go into August, and this is typically uh, about the hottest point of the year. Bob Rose, a meteorologist with the Lower Colorado River Authority, says we can expect temperatures starting next week to hover around 105 degrees for most of the week. After that, Rose says it could get even hotter. As we get maybe toward the, the second week of August, second, third week of August, if conditions remain as dry as they are right now with no rain around the area, I think it's possible, possible maybe a day here or a day there we could see reading spike up to about 108. And when it's that hot, turning the thermostat down is one of the few forms of relief. We're seeing higher loads, but we're prepared for it. Austin Energy says the state's electrical grid is also prepared for the climbing temperatures with 17% of its energy in reserves. And for those who can't afford to keep the energy going, there are plenty of options. When the heat index is forecasted to be 102 degrees and the following day is forecasted to be the same, then we'll suspend a disconnect so that people can stay comfortable during these hot temperatures. Hot temperatures that will more than likely be getting higher, but we've seen worse. Right now, I'm, I don't think this will be our hottest summer on record. Probably come in about second place. Austin Energy is also helping out customers with a six month deferment plan. Basically, as long as your current bill, as long as you're current on your current bill, but you have a past due balance, they'll let you pay that off after six months. For more information on that, you can call Austin Energy or you can give them a call at 311. Now, coming up at six o'clock, we'll take a look at what these temperatures could mean for your health and your safety. Reporting live from downtown Austin, Reagan Hackleman, KXAN News.